<laughs> Let's play this Rick Scott thing. This is awesome. Rick Scott, who won the award that I made up of the guy who had to plead the fifth more times than anyone who ever became senator, uh, pleading the fifth for, uh, for defrauding the U.S. government in a uh, Medicaid case, I believe it was, um, was on George Stephanopoulos' uh, show. And he was asked, um, why did you make up an award and give it to Donald Trump? It's in fixed TPS. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me, but they won't. Finally, a couple of weeks back, you gave former President Trump something you called the Champion of Freedom Award. That was on April 10th. And you did that despite the fact that the former president continues to spread lies about the election, about Mike Pence and the Capitol siege on January 6th. He said there was no threat there. Doesn't giving the president an award like that endorse that kind of behavior? I gave him the award for the right reasons. Um, he, he worked on border security. He worked on creating the best economy I've had probably in my lifetime. He, he worked on holding Xi and China accountable, the Castro regime accountable, accountable, Maduro accountable, helping Israel, got the Abraham Accords done. So, I mean, he, I mean, he worked hard. Um, you know, every president I know uh, would like to get more things accomplished. Um, but, I mean, he, he did some things that prior presidents had not gotten done. Well, except you gave that award after he spread the lies about the election. And also you're in charge of getting Republican senators elected in 2022. You've asked the former president to endorse all GOP incumbents, but he refused to do that. And he's going to actively campaign, he says, against Senator Lisa Murkowski. Well, I think well, Lisa Murkowski will have a great win. Um, you know, we're going to have we're going to, you know, <laughs> Republicans are united. We don't like the Biden agenda. We actually <laughs> Republicans <laughs> like a secure border, open schools. Uh, they don't want to be. The All right. My favorite part is, is that he gets away with just making up an award. The question shouldn't be like, why did you give this made up award to uh, Donald Trump? He didn't deserve it. The question should have been, why did you make up an award? Right. I mean, it's uh, the, the the long and the short of it is that Rick Scott wanted to permanently affix his lips to donald trump's behind there you that's go really that's really the that's that was a very wordy way of him trying to get around uh i i, I want him to like me now ward uh, is the shape of lips i think it is well i mean look it's that's fitting he he he's didn't he wasn't able to say i'm a i'm a um so such a dumb person that i have not quite figured out yet that me signaling loyalty to Donald Trump via flattery is not going to get that loyalty in return because uh, I haven't haven't learned the lessons of everybody Trump's ever worked with before. I don't think he's looking for loyalty as much as he wants to basically just position himself. I mean, everybody in the Republican Party knows that if you want to um, have success in the Republican Party, you need to be a Trumpista. That's the bottom line. Uh, those are the people who win in that party. OK, not loyalty, but win Trump's affections. You can win Trump's affections momentarily. doesn't mean uh, when it immediately doesn't suit him, Trump won't turn around and <laughs> revoke that affection. That's true. There's literally nothing on the Champion of Freedom Award besides Rick Scott awarding it to Donald Trump. There is. Yeah. It, I mean, it's just a completely it is. Will like, they ever even use that award again? Or will he be the sole recipient? Why didn't they just make it the Donald J. Trump award and give it to Donald J. Trump? 